Bismillah, inshallah in this video we're going to explore how people think. Now cognition from the word cognate means to think. Uh, cognition refers to the mental activity when a person is organizing and attempting to understand information and communicating information to others. Right, so thinking is particularly referring to uh, the attempt, okay, uh, of organizing information, attempting to understand information, as well as communicating information. Basically, it's about things a person do with information, which involves organizing, understanding, and communicating. So, uh, if they are better at that, okay, better at organizing, understanding, and communicating information then we can somehow say that uh, his or her thinking is actually quite good. Now, can you describe what is your favorite dress attire uh, is? Okay, uh, Like, do you have a favorite okay, attire that I believe you have? Okay, Think about it for a while and then are you able to describe the color? Okay, uh, So, some of you may describe you know, your favorite attire or dress as white in color, some of you might be, you know, purple in color, for example. And then if I were to ask you, what's the pattern on it, the dress? Okay, does it have a lace or does it have flowers? Does it have uh, any kind of, you know, logos, right? Now, uh, if, uh, and I wanted you to actually, this is a stimulating question in which that when you are able to actually describe uh, what is your favorite dress or attire, right? Uh, you are actually in a way accessing mental imagery right so uh, this is to highlight that uh, at times uh, when we think about something uh, there is a mental representation or mental imagery right that stands for objects or events and have a picture like quality uh, so this is the point here that uh, you know at times when we think it has a picture like quality right so basically uh, we think in pictures uh, okay, basically we think in pictures, but does it mean that we only think in images? Okay, the answer is no. Okay, because we can also think in different forms. Sometimes uh, we think about something without really imagining how it looks like. Okay, uh, we recall a certain song, for example. We might not, uh, when we remember a certain song, uh, you know, we might not be recalling any kind of images related to the song, but we actually. Uh, recalling the uh, to tones of the sound, uh, the sound, okay, uh, the voice, uh, the voice singer, for example. Uh, so that can also be other forms of thinking as well, right? But if let's say if I were to ask you, imagine an apple. So, uh, you know, it's quite common, you know, for a person to think of the picture of an apple, right, instead of the word a p p l e. Uh, so, so, so that highlights, you know, mental imagery highlights that our thinking revolves more around visual, okay, or images, but it is not limited to that, okay, not limited to that. 